You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Baggage, internal baggage. Mm -hmm handling the external baggage <laughs> that's right. being dumped on you, mm -hmm. okay? It, it's your choice, mm -hmm. okay? It's your choice. Landon wants to know, do you still operate a plumbing company? Heck no. <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> we sold it. It'll be almost four years right. in February. We sold our plumbing business. That okay. We started from our kitchen table. He obviously doesn't know us. We'll give him a little right. background. Started from our kitchen table. Um, three kids, baby on the hip. Hip. Right? Um, no all, the, all the store. You know. Wait, how much money did we have? Um, fifteen hundred dollars of our last. <laughs> she, I, I freaked her out. Mm -hmm. okay, keep in mind that we have fifteen hundred dollars. We are thousands of dollars in debt. We're broke, 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 We're broke, broke, broke. broke. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, <laughs> and I had the grand idea. I'm going to start my own plumbing business. Oh, that's a great. Took idea. our last fifteen hundred dollars, and uh, got bought, a van. Got a van. Mm -hmm. I didn't even have the right tools. Bought just some hand tools. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, some because I was using where I was working. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, I was using their tools, mm -hmm. and so I mean, part, really, I had some hand tools, but, but I bought like my, you know, one of those kits, um, you know, the cordless. <laughs> so I had my own, cor you know, cordless stuff, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff, and and it's a few parts. <laughs> <Different> company, right? <laughs> Two <Not> ones, <laughs> right? In fact, that's a, you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but look, to finish the story, um, so yes, we we grew our plumbing business then, and after eighteen years, sold it. Um, and then now we teach how to grow. Wait, a even when business. we sold it, we were done with plumbing. Yeah. I just, I'll just be transparent. <laughs> for whoever was asking about this, I want to be real here because that's what it really was asking. What do you, who, who are you? What do you, what do you really know? Did you ever even have a plumbing business? Show your hands. Right, his hands aren't dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it all the time. Look at it. There's no callus on him. You know, he's not driving a truck. He's not in a van. You know, he's in some kind of sports not, car or something. Not anymore. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. All right. Because yes. I had a plumbing business and grew a successful plumbing business and sold it for a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we thought we were done with plumbing and plumbers. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we were, were given a new uh, um, new lease on life. Well, a new a new life. I mean, mm -hmm. it was boring just um, traveling and doing that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we found we were we were asked, you know, those that knew us, how did you go from how did you go from that piece of crap truck <laughs> to doing this and now you're flying what do you you know how, how'd you do that without killing each other right and without killing each other mm -hmm. okay and so um mm -hmm. we started um this coaching. is what i want to hear dennis okay that's interesting see right isn't that funny because we, we uh, think okay people just don't want to hear all, all about whatever right. right so we tend not to say it often but right. we probably should we, we, um so sarah and, and uh, matt uh, they had a thousand dollars all right <laughs> So you really, yeah, you, okay. Uh, let's see, can I just skip uh, all this and go ahead and move to Longboat Key? No, right, no. Right. I'm like, you gotta swim right now. Hey, you, got, you gotta earn. <laughs> right, you gotta okay. swim. No, it's not earning. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be here before you know it. You're already, um, mm -hmm. Mike, we know he's already been successful. A lot of this I is, is how do you, you're creating what we, what we teach and what we learn to do. We made all the mistakes. I did what we were working for the builders. I got sued by a builder, by the way. I fell on that, I fell on that deep water early on. When we did everything right, they just sued, us. Well, I, of course, I went after they owed us seventy thousand dollars. You ever mm -hmm. did have a builder owe you a bunch of money? No, builders pay on time, right? And they pay early. Okay. Actually, is what and, they do. Uh, and then they turned around <laughs> and sued us for a million dollars. That's how the game play. This game is played. For no, Dennis, we had it for eighteen years. Eighteen, right? Mm -hmm. And and so we, we've done it. We've done all that. Okay. <laughs> and but we learned through this that the service side is residential service is where it's at. Right. Okay. Yes. Um. When, no matter what you say for the others on mm -hmm. you know, trying to do new construction and I'm doing remodels and all that. Well, you, you just love plumbing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, you're probably making money, but you're not making money. Okay, you're yeah, certainly not creating just, a freedom lifestyle. Here's yeah. actually money laundering. The money is <laughs> right. going through you. That's exactly right. From the builder to the supplier. It, it's all that's all that is. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> and um, you may find a way to take piece of that yourself eventually, but mm -hmm. it doesn't you know it doesn't work that way. So right. residential service is where it's at. So we learned that. We did, and we learned that game. Mm -hmm. I actually it hit me about four years in, mm -hmm. five years like we're working and all the time, but I'm not making any money. And so they didn't have coaches this kind of thing like they back back in the day, mm -hmm. okay? You know when we, we they actually didn't have the internet right, back in the right, day. They didn't have the internet, okay? All right, um, there weren't safe zones. Everyone didn't wear pads, okay? You know, um, certainly weren't, weren't any masks. Okay. You know, we were okay. All right, men were men, okay? Women were women. So, anyways, mm -hmm. so we actually, you know, I 
So I don't know this this business thing mm-hmm. or whatever. So I was just a guy in a truck too. So I get it, you know, and the fears. Well, I don't want to be an I want to be an office guy here. You know, I'm not going. I'm not going to work in an office. Well, mm-hmm. I don't want to work in an office either. <laughs> but but I wanted to make money, mm-hmm. and so um, and I didn't wind up working in an office. In fact, we just got in an argument today. <laughs> Right before the right, right before our show here, it's to this day this? because we have some other stuff going on and it takes office work. And I look for any excuse not to do the office work, you know. So it never it never ends. No, but we find not. a way to work through it, and mm-hmm. we do our part. I find mm-hmm. a what place. And, and you realize I was right. right. Okay. 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 Let's be clear. All right. So, but I wound up asking. Um, I was a part of a group. That part of it is. Who you spend your time with is mm-hmm. who you become. Right. All right. So if you hang out with the guys at the supply house and, and shoot the shoot the crap and watch the games mm-hmm. and talk about how bad everything is and broke everybody is and how everything is everyone else's fault except yours, <laughs> that's what you'll become and stay. Okay. Mm-hmm. But if you hang around people that make money, all right. Um, you'll learn to make money, mm-hmm. and that—that's what I did. I got with a, a CEO group. I decided to, you know, own some another pair of pants other than a pair of jeans and a work shirt, and you uh, the part. and learned to dress the part, mm-hmm. and joined a CEO group. Mm-hmm. And one of the members there was actually the CFO, Chief Financial Officer for Mayflower. Mm-hmm. Okay, Industries, the, the trucking company, mm-hmm, right? And he kind of was an old guy. Um, he's an old, older Jewish guy, mm-hmm. and I was this young Christian guy, mm-hmm. you know. And we kind of hit it off in just some weird kind of weird kind of way. Mm-hmm. And so I finally I begged him, teach me business. Begged him, you know. Oh, I paid him a bunch of money. You know, I pay you, and he didn't, you know, he didn't need the money, mm-hmm. obviously. Um, but that was having skin in the game. Right. And that's why I always went, you know, just showing I'm serious about this. I'll give you what I can, what I have. Right to teach me so mm-hmm. I can make more, Right. okay? Mm-hmm. And so um, he taught me business. And so mm-hmm. today, a lot of, and that's when we took off. Mm-hmm. It's took off as far as money in the bank, creating wealth. Right, um, understanding. You know, like, right, understanding, understanding things. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these things, you know, I, you know, I teach today. So mm-hmm. that's, uh, I didn't mean to go, yeah, I would get yeah, off on that. I, well, because he asked, um, right. I think it was Dennis that asked about mm-hmm. the business. So um, it's yeah. hard to soar with eagles, soar like an eagle when you're surrounded by turkeys. Yeah. Yes, that is a famous Well. Thing. Right. Don't surround yourself with turkeys. It's your fault. Landon. See, that's part of taking oh, taking your ownership. <laughs> All right, Landon. I know we like we throw that. That's the excuse, and I know it was probably just a fun thing you threw out. I'm not mm-hmm. saying, but it's your responsibility. You got to take ownership who you choose to hang out with. Mm-hmm. Well, say these are my friends. This is, I went to school with these guys. Yep. All right. Well, you're not a little boy anymore. Not playing you know, on the playground or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you know, it's it's time to grow up and be a man. Okay, and and surround yourself and, with people that and, you aspire to be like. Right, mm-hmm. very, very, very important. And we say, well, I'm, I don't know about that stuff, or I'll feel like I'll feel silly. No, I mean you got to get. Yeah, you will first. Mm-hmm. You know, when I'm asking, you know. If you're the smartest person in the room, you're the, in the wrong. Room. You're in the wrong room. Okay, mm-hmm. you want to be the uh, not the sharpest not tool. The sharp. And in asking that room. the questions. Ask the questions. Okay, mm-hmm. and that's how you grow. Right. Um, to this day, we're we're still growing. I tell you, we we have our coaches and counselors okay. um, to take into different level because you mm-hmm. get stagnant. Okay, first of all, you need something to kind of hold you accountable and help keep you pushing, mm-hmm. and um, and also to keep keep you open minded right. or you growing right mm-hmm. okay because if you're coasting you're coasting downhill mm-hmm. so man a lot there yeah and if you know and if you're just uh, it's just hard if you're treading water sooner or later you're going to sink mm-hmm. okay oh, you're all right so you're going to drown okay, okay? <laughs> all right so it is so-